Mercury, watching the guards me. All the Tim Park bands there was where the guards teach. Wanted to jump in the cypher, but I got cold feet. The energy had me hype, I couldn't control my speech. Speech, thought it was over, that's another worry. I started building, I remember it. Yeah, yeah. Peace, peace, peace. You already peace. know what it is. Don't allow hate your aura hell, man. We back in the building once again. You heard? You know what I mean? We got another segment going on. And this one we want to pay, you know what I mean? A tribute to, you know what I mean? Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the rest of the Fennies that, you know, Lost their lives in, in, in a um, helicopter crash, no man. No doubt, no doubt. We, we gonna take you know, just bow our heads and for a little moment of silence, man, and just pay homage, man, to, to those that we lost, man. And yeah, man, just give thanks, man. I mean, for those that still here, man, that can enjoy this life, man, give thanks, man. And I just send the prayers out. Let's build podcast. We all send prayers out to the families, man. Facts, you know what I mean? Facts. And send strength, man. Pray for, for strength, man. And wisdom and just, you know what I mean? The power to just get through these these, these um terrible times right now. No doubt. So no doubt. I'm still good. I'm still a little shook up, man. That was my dude, man. Def- Black Mamba, man. Yeah, See? man. I'm still you know I mean? still feeling that shit, man. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy, man. There's so much going on, you know what I mean, right yeah, now. You know, yeah. Got a war going on. You got... It's just a lot of stuff going on, and this happens. Like, I mean, yeah, that was crazy. my guy too, man. Mm-hmm. That's how man. I had the, I had the jersey hanging up in the studio, man. Yeah, yeah. I had him and LeBron. Ain't the only one, man. Jay. He See? had fans all over the world. He was. They say the most liked um, sports figure almost ever. Yeah, so and he probably. retired two jerseys. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like he definitely achieved a lot, man. Kobe, Kobe was definitely. Mm-hmm. I mean, that dude. You know what I mean? Showed and proved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Greatness on that court. You know what I mean? I've been and, um, a Laker fan ever since I was a little boy. So, it's he definitely willed my team to a lot of victories. So, I, I felt like I knew the nigga. Word. You know what I mean? Me Word. too, he, he was doing what I wanted to be out there doing. You know what I mean? Word. Very inspiring to you. Like, word. Uh, word. Yeah, word. I, I, man, it's, I could dig it, bro. I could dig it, man. Like I said, it's sad. It was, and then his child and his daughter to be there with him. It's like, yeah, yo, man. Yeah. It's, it's one crazy. good thing I did here, you know, at least they together, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they got they, each other, you know, where they at. So that's one good thing. But yeah. Out of no everything, doubt. man, shit, that's a, that's a big loss, man. Yeah, it's, it's huge loss. It's right. a huge loss, man. It seemed like it was a couple families on that plane, you know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah, facts, you know facts, I mean? it was. But yeah, man, it's like, cool. we like, wow, who would think, you know? Mm-hmm. But, you know, just to, t- like, I seen, like, not that be what's the name, but, like, on this, um... Cartoons again, man. A cartoon. I, I don't know if it was The Simpsons, yeah, right? Yeah. And the helicopter crash. Yeah, and Kobe, mm-hmm. Cartoon and the helicopter crash. And Kobe was hanging out with the two trophies and everything. Yeah, the and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm like, come on, man. Like, and now this man passes in a helicopter. There's something about these cartoons predicting people's future. What was the car- yeah, What was the cartoon? <clears throat> I don't know if it was The Simpsons. It was one of them. They was previewing well, it. Was it was, it was one, of these, else, one of these one of these cartoons, man. It was just crazy how it was just crazy how things be happening, man. You know what I mean? But you just gotta we just gotta stay prayed up, man. Count our blessings, man. For real, for real. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Oh, and, God, God, God. Hey, man. Gotta you gotta keep it moving day. too. Gotta we definitely gotta keep. Day. Yeah, definitely gotta live, man. Instead of instead of living destructively, man, live that life, man. Oh, a lot God. of us alive, but we actually not living. So does that does that really make you alive? Like right. you just exist, right. but I mean, if you're not living your life and you just, what are you doing? You feel what I'm saying? Like you can do anything in the world, man. I feel like there's no time for no destruction, no no self destruction, no genocide. Right. There's no right. time for none of that because. Like in the blink of an eye, it could, eat, it could be the It'd other be way. Fact. You feel what I'm saying? So why not live it up? Every live your life you to the get, fullest, man. You every never chance know. you get, do us thy will, man. Do us thy us will. None of us promised tomorrow. But mm-hmm. yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop causing chaos, man. Spread love, man. Word up. Word up. It's just crazy, man. Get people their flowers while they're alive, man. 
<laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I know this man. It's important. People, people wait till something happens. Then they, you out of out of commission. Now they want to try to tell you how much they love you, how much this and how much that, or they miss you, or whatever the case may be. But when you was alive, you couldn't get a person to even they say a make word. Make a phone call. Yeah, and it's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. And people need to hear that. While they here, man, you don't understand. That's energy that you're giving them. That, that, that Especially that in this day and age when everybody's doing all this texting and all that. Yeah. Hit them off. Hit a catch voice. You know what I mean? Facts. Get, get, get that voice in. Facts. You get, you get more out of hearing somebody's voice than getting a text. Facts. Word Facts. Up. Time is precious, man. Like, I mean, it's a sad situation, like I said, man. So, like I said, we take our hats off, man. And, and we just send love out there, man. And, 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 you know what I mean? You gotta live, live days like it's the last, man. You never know when the last day. That's one thing I admired about him, though, man. He always gave his all every day, though, man. But that's how you're supposed to, he, uh, he, to do, man. He, he, he uh, you know, he was, he was a hard worker, man. Disciplined yeah. and hard worker. He, he always gave 100% to everything, so. Facts. You know what I mean? I, I, give, I give him that definitely. He definitely left a major mark, you know what I mean? Definitely great, you know what I mean? He he and he show and prove his greatness. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely great. You know what I mean? You're gonna always remember Kobe Bryant, you know what I mean? And it's just it's just sad how it ended. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I would love to start seeing happy endings, man, from us, man. We work so hard. You know 41 what I mean? years old, man. We work so Young hard dude. throughout our life to have a a, a, a tragic ending. Why can never? Why is never a happy ending? And Tracy McGrady you know, was on. Um, he was on one of them shows, that, and he said he said Kobe predicted that he was going to die early. That's crazy. You know what I mean? He said he wanted to die early and and, and leave his legacy. Mm. Wow, and that's what happened. Yeah, but, I mean, he said that was before he started having kids, to, before he started having his daughters and shit. Yeah, but that's what he predicted it. He said he wanted to die early. Wow, that's mm. crazy. Yeah. Hey, things happen, man. You know what I mean? When the father, when the universe is ready, it got it was something better for Kobe. It's something better, man. That's not the end. It's not the end of Kobe, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, I truly believe and I know that it's not the end of Kobe. So the uh, legacy you know I mean? always live on. Live on. You know what I'm saying? You know. He inspired and thank you. I mean, just just, just thank you for, yeah. for the time that we was able to. And that is so crazy that Watch right the after brothers. the day after um, LeBron break his record, that's when he died. Word. The day after. Wow. Well, it was two days after because he congratulated him a day the next after. Next day. Yeah. It's the next day. Yeah. Wow. I think he broke his record on that Friday night. He died Sunday morning. The day of the Grammys. Yeah. Wow. Wow. They said everybody died. Everybody like a... Uh, Nip died on Sunday. I don't know if it's the same day as the Grammys, but it was a Sunday. Juice World died on a Sunday. Oh wow! It said a lot. Uh, might have been some relevance to that. I don't know. I don't know either, man. But that was crazy. How um, what's the the dude from Atlanta that wore his jersey? Y'all see like the numbers? How the numbers was matching up and everything? I heard he wore number eight. Nah, um, oh, they, they were saying something about the thirteen. Number thirteen is relevant. His daughter died at thirteen, and then it's a whole number number game with that. Let me Everything see. Everything is equal up to thirteen. Knowledge, understanding, all man born the culture. So, uh, what's the guy from the Suns' name? Yeah. Number one. He play now. Mm-hmm. Oh, you talking about um this dude. Oh, Trey. Trey um That's that's a dude from Atlanta. Oh the no. Trey. Oh, uh, that's um what's the name? Oh uh, shit, what's the name? Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Yeah, Devin Booker. Yeah, so they, they both they both took twenty four shots. That was his number. They both scored combined they scored eighty one. Mm-hmm. Trey Trey wore number eight. And uh, book of the war number one, 81. You know, that's the most the Kobe, points, yeah. Kobe dropped ever scored. Yeah. Um, wow, that's dope. It's, I can't remember all the numbers that, but it was a couple more numbers that 
You ain't no, see that one with up. the eighteen with the thirteen? Mm-mm. Okay, it's a yeah, let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah, it's one with thirteen. All the different stuff that one that's, with that. I, I, that's dope too. Yeah. I see how they, how they you know what I mean? Wow. I think it was dope was how they took the uh when the game started they took the eight second violation for his number eight and the next play after they took the twenty four second violation for the shot clock for number twenty four. Mm. That that lined up perfectly too as a tribute, you know what I mean? See playback. Okay. Wow, wow. See, I ain't, I ain't peep all those. Oh, this is the cartoon, though. You didn't see the cartoon? You ain't see it, right? cartoon is that? Do it say? It don't say, right? Uh, TV show Chamberlain Heights. Okay. Hmm. It's crazy, B. Like, how, <laughs> that's crazy. I wonder how long ago that was that? Word, like, that's crazy. I be busting my brain, man. I, I, I can't even, like... You know what I mean? Like, uh, Yeah. Anyway, man. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's get out that, um, that zone. Because that zone a little deep right there. Fact, you know fact, what I mean? Fact. But, um... We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna shift this thing and, 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 and. And we're going to get into this um, Kenny Lofton joint, you know what I mean, by J. Cole, you know what I mean, featuring Young Jeezy. And we're just going to uh, build on this, you know what I mean, with the people, you know what I mean? And um, like I said, y'all can get in tune with us through the uh, comments and everything, leave comments and everything. We will interact back, with, you know what I mean, with y'all. Um... Like I said, the song is called Kenny Lofton. I don't know if y'all familiar with it. Um, notice we've been doing a lot of old school joints, you know what I mean? So Kenny Lofton is just something that we took we, we took to the day. You know, J. Cole, you know, he's more conscious brother. So he definitely be dropping drinks and gems in his music. And um, we just want to share that with y'all today. All right. Starts off. Says, hurt to think you lied to me. Hurt way down deep inside of me. And it breaks my heart. He says, uh, get paid a pretty penny for my thoughts. I'm hard away with grandma. I'm hot. They only care about a nigga when he handled the rock. Or when he dishing the pill. Or when he gripping the steel, bawling out my, bailing out my brother, tell a lawyer, get the appeal. With the flick of the pen, write the check and he out. Two years later, he be at my shows checking me out. Know he proud of, of little bro and how my records be out. Flashbacks to childhood when he was decking me out. Now it's clear, little man is the best MC out. Hands down, flow water, can't drown. My flow father, go harder. Cold smarter. Shout outs to fiends and queens. I'm team no daughters. I seen it all this young age. The only thing left to do was die and hit front page. Should I knock on wood and pray like God forbid? These hoes be popping pills. These niggas be popping shit, bitch. Pac on the mic in his prime. They only care about a nigga when he writing a rhyme, boy. Kenny Lofton, you feeling my pace. 
They only care about a nigga when he's still in the base. It's like Wilt the Stilt. I'm fucking them all. They only care about a nigga when he dunking the ball. Mm. And it breaks my heart. The world's a stage. I just play my part. Mm. That was deep. Mm -hmm. Yo, the world's a stage. I just play my part. part. Facts. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? What like they used to say back in the days, you living your life like a movie. Every day a movie. Fast movie. Bah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what, 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 fit five years? He was like, bah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy. But they, <laughs> they, but they really, no, we, I mean, we basically like movie, movie, but it's really real like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, you on stage. Rose is yeah. stage. Yeah, definitely, man. And it's real. And if, like I said, if you could think like, start thinking in that order, mm -hmm. everything could be good. You feel what I'm saying? Fall into place. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we get too caught up in everything. Got to be real, real, real. Like like mm -hmm. we creative beings. Like it means like no doubt. sometimes no doubt. we can overdo. You can overdo things. Facts, facts. It come easy, guys. Yeah. So we could keep going and we come back and then build start stuff building on it more. No doubt, no doubt. You want to go? Where we left off at? The world's a stage. I just played my part. So now we had just caught fire like a young Richard Pryor. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just caught fire like a young Richard Pryor with the unforgettable quotes. They only care about a nigga when he telling a joke or when he's selling his dope. They tell the reverend, man, I'd rather go to heaven with the coke oh. than live in hell and be broke. I'd rather go to heaven with the coke than live in hell and be broke. Shout out to black man who beat the odds by yelling for hope. My nigga, how could I, knowing what I know? It's a game of charades, masquerades for the dough. Read the teleprompter. These niggas is actors on the low. Mm. Yeah, I ver yeah, I voted for the nigga because he got the best show. <laughs> like, I go, like I got the best flow. On your market set go. go. Mama got us out the hood, but we still ghetto. I seen it all at the young age. At this young age. The only thing left to do is die and hit the front page. Should I knock on wood and pray like God forbid? These hoes be popping pills. These niggas be popping shit. Mm. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Pop got the mic in his front. <clears throat> They only care about a nigga when he writing a rhyme, boy. Kenny Lofton, you feeling my pace? They only care about a nigga when he's still in the base. It's like Wilk the Stilt, I'm fucking them all. They only care about a nigga when he dunking the ball. And it breaks my heart. The world's a stage, I just play my part. Shoo. That there alone is like, wow. Facts, facts. Is that um, I said you wouldn't know the truth if it was right there in your face. See, I can't explain the feeling when the feds around your place. In that PJ Rose, I drink that shit by the case. Like somebody pray for me, Reverend Run past the mace. See, I do this for my homie. He got caught with a soft eight. When I say a soft eight, yeah, that's two less than ten. If they let him out the day, he gonna do it all again. Say he lost the first time, it won't stop until he win. Street life will have you drunk. I'm talking Seagram's gin. Yeah, we screaming Scarface, but we all know how that ends. Every word is like dope. You can snort it like lines. If I said it, then I meant it. They reciting every line. If I had to write a book, it would be the life and times. Every verse is that work. You could weigh it like a nine. You see, I lost a lot of niggas, and it broke my heart. Life is stage. I just played my part. Look. <laughs> that was Jeezy's verse. Pac right? on the mic, yeah. Pac on the mic in his prime. They only care about a nigga when he writing the rhyme, boy. Kenny Lofton, you feeling my pace? They only care about a nigga when he's still, still in the, the base. It's like Wilt the Stilt, I'm fucking them all. They only care about a nigga when he ducking the ball. ball. And it breaks my heart. <laughs> the world's a stage, I just play my part. Mm. Yeah, last verse was Jeezy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's crazy though, 
to really think. Like, like just as like I said, the world's a stage. I just play my part. But even how he's in the hook, he's like, they only care. Yeah, they only care when you what? When you entertain them, huh? Exactly. Exactly. When you don't, don't you, if you can't, if you get injured, they don't care about you. Mm -hmm. So really, do they? Is that a person who really care about you? Like, like they do thick and thin. You see what I'm saying? It ain't you know what I mean? Right. So, so it's like it's not real love. It's not it's not real caring. You feel what I'm saying? This shit is staged. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, this is a part of the system. This is how systematically how it should be in order to keep order. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and, when you're and, valuable, when you make, you can make somebody money. That's, that's right. It. That's it. That's right. You ain't making them no money, they don't care about you. Either you're going to be an asset or a liability. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to make yourself an asset. Facts. Facts. Get your skills up. Facts. You know what I mean? Make them want to want to come get you. They gonna, you to, yeah, you know they're going to have mean? to. Yeah. Is there anything other than that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To me, it's uncivilized, man. Once you know the game, you should know how you can, you can, you can uh, really control it. You feel know what I'm saying? Yeah, we are the yeah. controllers. You know what I mean? Don't let it control you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's definitely... um. Well, they care a lot about artists that make a lot of money. Somebody like a, like a my son, who like a raptivist, you know, mm -hmm. nah, they ain't he ain't on the charts or nothing like that. So yeah, they ain't gonna hear unless you underground and that's what you're looking for. I mean, I mean, it's just a shame, but that's how the game go. But we got to get more people to be aware of this stuff. Situations going on, man. It's not really all about money all the time, man. Facts, facts. I'm gonna tell you one thing. About values. It's about values, but money. Without money, you would drown here. So we gotta, we gotta get that. We gotta. Whoever said that and made that damn statement, ask them do they got money. Ask them do is they. They always say it ain't about money, but it is about money. Money is a major issue because without money, you would be on the goddamn streets out there. Look at we want to have homelessness. They don't got money. Look where they at. They they, they they out there. They shouldn't be out there, but that's where they at. So everybody be saying, oh, we don't need money. We need money. Money is always an issue. So it's like you, so basically your energy, you shouldn't go to, you shouldn't go to work and go get paid for nothing. You should just do work and then basically the universe will take care of you. If right, it ain't about right. money. And nobody, and nobody in their mind is go, waking up, going to work without thinking of making a dollar or something. So how's money not an well, issue? You, you, you need money. money. You need money, true. But, yeah, um, so if you're doing something that you feel that you can get money off of, this is what you choose to do. That's your energy, that's your time, that's your job. Whatever, you should be able to get paid for anything that you do. If I carry your bag, it's your bag. You can carry it yourself, but if I carry it, yes, I should get paid for it because especially if you can do it yourself, but if you don't want to do it, you pay to get somebody else to do it for you. If I'm there to help that with that, yeah, what's the name? It's like anything. It's my cut. You could cut your own lawn, but you pay for people to pay, cut your and lawn. I, yep, and, I, and I do Stay pay somebody. Oh, yeah, my bad. And I do pay somebody to cut my lawn, matter of yeah. fact. And I got a what's the name because my kid's lazy and I used to cut it, but I'm like, yo, yeah, I got it, big yeah, kids here. Yeah, they need exactly. to start cutting. Whatever you can, you don't want to do or you can do yourself. You're going to pay for it. So pay for where's it. that? So lack, your lack of knowledge is mm -hmm. your lack of knowledge. It's stopping you from having, from what you, from getting what you need. Because as long as you know things, that's how you get what you need here. Well, it ain't really about not needing money. It's about like sacrificing your morals for for a certain amount of money. Oh that's, yeah, that's what that's the issue. For, it's you know no what sale. I mean? It's like, but we gotta watch this too. I, I people better finish, finish that. I mean, like a lot of people sell their soul because they feel like they need so, they much, need so money. much money. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? But they really don't, you know what I'm saying? They, they get like I don't know, greedy or what, whatever you want to call it. But you don't have to go take it that far. Facts. You know what I mean, but that, you know what? And it's a lot. It's, that's a good saying. And a lot of people saying, um, "Soul not for sale." And of course, the soul is not for sale. Well, let me tell you something. You sell your soul in different ways. They always they say your soul for sale. They make that it was like. As if it's just like with the industry. Oh, they did all this for that money, this and third. If you work in a job that you ain't happy with, that you know you don't want to be happy with, you sold your soul. You took anything just so you can, because they tell you you got to have this money, you got to pay bills, you got to do this. So what you really want to do, you're not making money over, so you're not doing what you love to do, you're doing something different. You sold your soul just so you can start making some money. 
So they, right. I think they overrate the, and make it seem crazy when it comes to the industry because you're dealing with so much money. So that's to scare you to keep you from going for that that money. But if you're working a job where you don't love it, your soul, your soul. Period. Point blank. Right. If that's you're in a true. relationship where you and you're not happy and you just there, you sold your soul for something I don't know what, but you, you it's, it's not yeah. you have to have happiness. You feel what I'm saying? So I think they they, they take that sell your soul thing and they run with it wrong ways. But do so your soul, you can sell your soul in, in different ways. You know what I mean? And, 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 and this that's a fact. You know what I mean? So I understand what you're saying. All they, like they say on all money, all money is good. This maybe the source that it's coming from not good. You know what I'm saying? But it's like how we think and how we perceive things. That's what stops us in our tracks, too. You know what I mean? It's like you say you want something, but in the same token, you, 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 you're blocking it, too, because you're saying that. Like if you say, oh, I like that, but right. what's the but? Exactly. The mm -hmm. but is something that's stopping, it's going to put things to a hold. There shouldn't be no but after it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's that's where we at with that. You know what I mean? But I believe, but. I believe, like, I believe, man, when somebody doing something, and you love, you like what somebody doing. I believe there's nothing wrong with encouraging that person to do more and supporting that person. You know what that person is doing it for. Um, I believe that you don't get to a point where a motherfucker give me, and I got five million or ten million. I need you to go do this, and da da da, da whatever the case may be. And you know it's against, it's inhumane. It's against your, how you live. It's, then that's yeah, that's completely crazy. Yeah, we not right, going there. Right. That's that's like it's no way. You know what I mean? And um, that's that's completely evil. That's there's no good in that. Nah, don't let no money uh, deter your, 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 your decision making. You know what I mean? You can't put a price on that. You feel what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to that part of far as selling your soul, don't let nobody be able to come and just throw a number at you to make you do something that you know not known for doing. You feel what I'm saying? That's what Basically. My, yeah, that's, that's so, the yeah, thing, man. That's exactly. Just being, I, I being, see that part, but I just want people being to aware, understand conscious. different, yeah. uh, different yeah. ways of because there people use things and they try to trick you. You know what I mean? Like, like look, look how they use the Bible against us, bro. They use the they use the words try to trick us when we really didn't understand what was going on. So they was telling us this is what it is. They was beating into us, that, but that's not what it was. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. So you gotta understand. People talk to you. Some people talk to you. They talk down. They talk at you. You know what I mean? Like it's like. You gotta, you gotta be able to uh, 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 comprehend what's being said and what you know what I mean, what's being spoken. You gotta be able to comprehend because sometimes we, we, everybody can dress things up and make it sound good, but if you fully don't understand it, I, I advise you to not get involved in it because that's where we get stuck at. I know we be loving to get in, in tune with things, but if we don't fully understand something, that status stop us a lot of um, headaches and heartaches. Learn, learn it before you get involved in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that'll yeah. be, that's number one. So that's why education is important. But it, you know what I mean? But it doesn't start in school, and nor does it end in school. You know what I mean? You know, knowledge yourself. You're supposed to start home, then go to school, learn that. Then when you you, learn, you come back and you learn more. It, like it always starts home. Everything starts home first. Right. Respect, Absolutely. love, all that. So instead of a person who live in life and work ethic, yeah, work everything. And instead of a person living life of like bitter of what they didn't have or what, you know what I mean? You can change, you change that. Once you get older, you realize I can change that. Yeah, I went through whatever I went, but you use that as a, as a stepping stone and to, to, to empower you. And, 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 you, and, you, and you change it, you, you change it, you know what I mean? You, you, you keep moving forward. You, you make the better, you the sole controller. You know what I mean? Everything revolves around you. You know what I mean? So isn't it? We, ain't, we ain't at the time of blaming no one now. It's the time to, it's the time to step up and take responsibility. We controllers of our own destiny, right? All, All right. right. All so right. if we that, then let's let, let, let's act like that. You feel what I'm saying? And there's no power greater than you on this earth. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no power greater than you. Remember, you was given dominion over everything. Come on, let's get to it. Like, really start studying and understand what, 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 what I mean, the power that you have. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. We are God. We, no we are gods for we real. Are God. We are gods for real. And like you said, yeah, it's the don't get caught up. And it breaks his heart. <laughs> Life's a stage. You just play your part. Big bags, they wanna dethrone us. We
making them big mad. They know they can't hold us. I suggest they get down. We ought to control us. We leaning and riding. They feeling for roll ups. We getting them big bags. They want to dethrone us. We making them big mad. They know they can't hold us. I suggest they get down. We ought to control us. Yeah, we ought to control us. I suggest they